Local retailers are pulling alcohol-based energy drinks from their shelves. Las Vegas police arrest eight people in connection with the death of a man from Garrett. And Frosty the Snowman gets a makeover in Auburn. I'm Woody Zimmerman. These stories are more next on Hoosier Ohio News Channel. Over 70% of our customers are repeat buyers or referrals. To get a customer back in our business, you have to treat them right. Sell them a quality vehicle and back it like we do with our famous 100,000 mile warranty. Preferred Auto on Grand Staff in Auburn. Who's your Ohio News Channel? Leading you into the future of how you get your news. Local, dependable, on demand. And now, the latest from Who's your Ohio News Channel. Some local retailers are pulling high alcohol content energy drinks from their shelves. The voluntary removal of the drinks comes after the Indiana Association of Beverage Retailers asked the State Alcohol and Tobacco Commission for a statewide ban. Regulars, or regulators rather, in Washington State recently banned such drinks, which are sometimes referred to as blackout in a can, citing the hospitalization of nine dangerously drunk college students last month. Similar bans are in effect in Michigan, Utah, and Oklahoma. According to a published report, local retailer Gays Hops and Schnapps has already begun removing the drinks from their shelves and says they should all be gone by the weekend. Police in Las Vegas have arrested eight people in connection with the death of a man from Garrett. Timothy Vanderdrosh was robbed, beaten, and left for dead while he was on his way to work in Las Vegas back on October 20th. Investigators with the Las Vegas Metro PD believe robbery was the secondary motive of the suspects who intended to mainly beat and batter someone. Police say that they will seek robbery charges against all of the suspects as well as murder charges against several of the suspects who were involved. Noble County Sheriff Gary Leatherman has announced that he hopes to fill Indiana's 13th District Senate seat left open by Marlon Stutzman. It's expected that later today, Leatherman will file his candidacy, candidacy for the caucus to fill the vacancy left when Stutzman was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives. That caucus will be held next Saturday, November the 20th in Kendallville. Sheriff Leatherman told Wayne TV he thinks the economy should be the number one priority for the next session of the Indiana General Assembly. Leatherman is currently serving his second term as Noble County Sheriff. He was first elected back in 2002. The Auburn Christmas Parade is coming up on Tuesday night, November 23rd. Anyone who is interested in participating in the parade can download an entry form through the Downtown Auburn Business Association's website at daba the number 4 auburncom Completed forms can be dropped off at Carbaugh Jewelers. The conclusion of the parade will feature the traditional lighting of uh, Frosty the Snowman at Courtyard Park on 7th Street in Cedar. And Frosty has received a makeover this year. He has been outfitted with all new energy efficient LED lights. And that's the news for now. If you see news happening, let us know about it. You can email us at News at gmail.com. I'm Woody Zimmerman. Have a wonderful weekend. But you approved me for a car loan two years ago. Times are tough. We've had to tighten up our standards. Do you approve any car loans? Let's see. But here's some great news. I just got my bonus. If you've been turned down for a car loan, you need to see us today. Preferred Auto is the largest independent dealer in the state. So banks and credit unions want to lend us money. If you're tired of hearing no, it's time to start hearing yes. Come see us now at your Preferred Auto on Grand Staff next to Hollywood Video.